Hello, and welcome to your school new school year of 2020. 2021. My name is Miss Talk and I will be your math teacher for this year, whether you are in here for geometry or linear algebra. I am super duper excited to meet you and see you in person, so I'm so glad we have some hybrid learning going on here. And I'm looking forward to seeing every one of your smiling faces in the classroom because I know you're just as excited to be here as I am. Finally, we get back, yay! All right, so a um, couple things about me. I grew up in Northern Minnesota in a little town called Coleraine. Um, it's about seven miles from Grand Rapids, if you are familiar with that. I went to college at UMD in Duluth. I did play volleyball there. And then um, right out of college, I interviewed for a job here in Hastings and I've been here ever since. So some of you may have some connections because I may have had your older siblings or I could have even taught your parents because that's happening quite a bit these days. So um, it could be from that. I am married, my husband's name is Steve. So it's Stephanie and Steve. Um, he works at Excel as a construction worker building scaffolds. And then I have three kids. You will be hearing quite a bit about them throughout the year when you're in class, probably on the online videos, probably not so much. But in class, you'll be hearing stories and things about that when we take our brain breaks and different things. Um, so my oldest son's name is Ethan. He is going to be a senior here in Hastings and some of his interests are hockey and lacrosse. This summer his lacrosse took us to a few tournaments out of state into Wisconsin and even one into Indiana. I have a daughter, Emma, and Emma is going to be a 10th grader this year and she plays soccer. And this spring, I'm not sure if she's gonna try track or if she may try lacrosse, um, something to that effect. Um, we'll see, she might even give volleyball a chance um, in that middle season that they have going on there. So um, soccer's her maid, main sport these days. And then is Elliot. Elliot is going to be an incoming fifth grader, so it's super exciting to have him here in the building with me. Um, so he, he's going to be, I guess, what you would call the gold pod um, is where he's going to be. He'll be here in the morning. So those of you that have first hour in here, he'll be in here with me in the morning having breakfast and then off to class he will go. Elliot actually got a new pet for the family this year, and I'm not sure if it's really Elliot's or more my husband's, um, because my husband spends the most time with them, it seems. And um, his name is Spike, and he is a bearded dragon. So um, we have our bearded dragon um, as a pet. New thing to us. All right, materials. I'm sure you guys are all like, what do I need to bring to school? Um, you need to bring your Chromebook. Um, every day you need to bring your Chromebook. You're supposed to have that with you in case we have any Schoology assignments or any online assignments with the Big Ideas books for the geometry or any um, in the Go Math for the Linears. You're going to have HRW, our PMTs, Personal Math Trainer assignments. Sometimes we may have you watch a quick video on things, so you always need to have your Chromebook with you. And then the other thing you're going to need for math is going to be pencils and some paper. I guess I would highly recommend using the mechanical pencils more so this year, so you don't have to get up and about and use the pencil sharpener as much. So I would recommend using some mechanical pencils with that. Um, a calculator, because you have your Chromebooks, you will be able to use the calculator that is on the Chromebook, but just just know that toggling back and forth might get annoying for you, so you might just want to have a handheld calculator to use. I know I'm going to send one with my kids to be able to use. And another thing I'm going to send probably with my kids in their backpacks is just going to be um, some tissues. Um, some of them have some allergies a little bit, and so they have to get up and use tissues quite a bit. And with the distancing and the masks and different things like that, if you needed to use a tissue at your desk, you absolutely positively can take off your mask and use a tissue so please do not um, worry about that and then yes you can get up and go throw that tissue away use some hand sanitizer and we are good to go so don't worry about any of that stuff all right a couple other little things that we are checking on during this connections week is your technology um, if you are watching this video then I know you have the technology and you can get into your Schoology and so we're going to check out two places, Infinite Campus and Schoology here. 
So the first one here on infinite campus, um, I'm going to be communicating with you a couple different ways. One, it may come through Schoology and it may come through a Schoology and the Messenger. So we'll go through that in a second. Or I might be emailing you through your Hastings Apps account. So however or wherever you go to check your email using your school address and the Hastings Apps account, I do know that some kids were confused with it last spring, so I'm just showing you Infinite Campus and what it looks like here. And if you look over on the left-hand side, this message center, this is what I am in. So if you go on this left-hand side, over here and it says message center that message center could be where your emails are coming from from your teacher so please go in and check that um, if not however you have been checking your emails if that's working for you then just stick to it this is just a suggestion for those of you that maybe um, have not had that all right, then the last thing I want to go do is look at Schoology. And in Schoology, there are some buttons here at the top. You can obviously see that this is me logged in, Stephanie Talk. Um, you will have notifications. I don't have any right now because I already checked mine today. But when you check this right here, it'll say whatever notifications and the recent things that you have been notified by. The next thing here is this envelope, and this envelope in here is your Schoology Message Center. And you can see in here where you can check this new message. So I could pick new message, and I could check that I wanted to um, email or reach Miss Ellie Lundstrom. So I could type in here um, her name and it would come up and then you, different people come up and then you can pick whoever it is that you want to write a message to. So that is the envelope here. This next little thing, which to me doesn't really look like a calendar, it looks more like a computer, but if you check that calendar, that's what I'm on right now. So if I go back to the envelope, this is my calendar right here. And you can see on the 31st down here, um, we have a video and Schoology quiz. So you're obviously watching the video right now and then you have a little Schoology quiz that you need to take after that. So where do you go find the Schoology quiz? Well, we go into our courses, and in your courses, you're going to pick whatever course is yours. So if you're in linear algebra, it's one of these purple ones I have at the top. If you're in the geometry class, it is this pink one. So you open up your class, and whenever you open up your class, you can see we have a folder in here that says Monday, August 1st. 31st to Thursday, September 3rd. So that whole week's work is going to be in here as it gets done. So when we open this up, you can see that in here, um, which you were probably already in here because you found the video, but there is a PDF in here. Um, so if you actually watch this video earlier or anything, that PDF is already open for you. And there's your Schoology quiz in here. All right, so let's just go back to the courses here and if you go back and if you look at the top one thing that we're doing on Wednesday is every class you are supposed to be zooming with so whether you're cohort one or cohort two I'm going to zoom at the same time for first hour that is going to start at 8 30 in the morning so whether you're at the beginning of the alphabet or the end of the alphabet all of us will be in the zoom together where do you find that zoom well it was in that PDF of information that I showed you but every class when you go in the first thing you will see is an announcement and in that announcement is your Zoom. So you can click on that Zoom. That is the Zoom meeting that I'm going to have open all year long for you to get in. So um, if you try to Zoom at 8.30 in the morning with me and you are in my fifth hour class, I all of the Zooms have a waiting room and so you will not be left let in. You will be going to your other Zoom that you have first hour. So we may all be using the same Zooms, but you will only get in if you are actually in that class, okay? So every class, so if I go look at my geometry class, and you look in here for geometry, again, at the top is the Zoom that they will be using. So all Zooms will be found at the beginning. And you can also see on this right-hand side your list of homework. So you can see in here that there's a homework assignment that you have to do today, and it is a Schoology quiz. 
Okay, that's how we're going to be taking attendance is by you doing something online. And it could be on Schoology. Sometimes I might have it on your online assignment, an HRW assignment. Um, but at home, there will always be something electronic that you will have to submit for attendance. It might just be a one attendance question or it might just be a homework assignment. So if I have a homework assignment, don't panic if you don't have an attendance question because I can check your attendance from you doing that homework for the day. So yes, you do need to do your homework every single day. You cannot wait on that, let's say you're cohort one and you're in school Monday and Tuesday. On Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, your attendance might be your homework. So you need to do your homework Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. If you wait and try and do it on Saturday and Sunday, then you might get marked absent for math for those three days. So please make sure that you're checking in Schoology every single day so that we can get attendance things. All right, I'm going to wrap things up here and say goodbye and can't wait to see all of you, whether it's on September 8th or later that week on that Thursday, September 10th. So I'm looking forward to seeing every single one of you in person. Please, 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 if you have any questions today, tomorrow, anytime, please reach out to me either via email or on the messenger on Schoology. I will be checking those constantly throughout the day. I may not get to you right away at the day because of where my prep may land. So I might be teaching for 100 minutes then have some time off, or I might have 100 minutes open in the morning and then I teach all the way through until the afternoon. So we'll get some of those kinks and stuff worked out um, as the days progress here. For now, I hope you have a wonderful day and good luck connecting with all of your teachers. Goodbye.